So I want to do this really quick. Uh, being that it's already the end of my fishing day, I'm going to place this at the very beginning of the video so that you all know that the meet and greet slash lures tournament is going to be this Saturday, June 9th. So if you're in the Southeast Texas area and you'd like to come on out and talk fishing, oh, look at that. Uh, you'd like to talk fishing and, oh, that is a nice one. Um, I'd love to chat with you guys, gals. Um, it would be, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm losing my train of thought because of this spec. Uh, but yeah, if you would like to come out, I'd enjoy talking with y'all, uh, showing you the kayak for those of you that do not kayak fish. Uh, it doesn't matter. That's a nice size spec right there. So yeah, that would be cool to see each and every one of you out there. It's going to be my first meet and greet, so I'm hoping that some of you all do take time out of your day to come out and say hi. We are here, baby. Right over there, you know that to be Seawolf Park. Those guys charge way too much to be able to get in on their grounds and then fish. You got to pay extra. So... Uh, I'm all about the free stuff right now. I am sort of a starving artist. Uh, without my wife, <laughs> I would not be able to do what I am doing right now for y'all. Gosh, what a beautiful morning. The reason why I chose this spot was because we have the southwest wind coming in and this bank right here will protect me for the most part throughout the majority of the day. Now, when I head out there, uh, all bets are off because it is going to get brutal. There's a lot of schools of mullet out here. And there's been ladyfish so far that I've hooked into that are chasing them. I think there's something that looks like a, a trout. But I cannot get them to commit to my lures. So just tied on this spoon and... We're going to see if we can hook into one of these guys. Well, I don't know why they didn't go after my spoon. It's the easy target. All right. I've cast beyond them. Boy, this spoon has got some distance on it whenever you whip it out there. That was my spoon going below them. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. We got him. Yep, it's a skipjack. Little ladyfish. It's a big one too. Whoa! <laughs> Thing going airborne. Whoa, Bella! Good lord! Finally catch our first fish of the day. I don't need this thing going airborne on me. There we go. Whew, that's a decent size right there. A lot of people use these things as cut bait. That's a nice size skipjack though. All right, buddy, keep on terrorizing the bait. Made our way over towards the rocks at Seawolf Park. There's a lot of schools of mullet over here as well, just skimming the surface of the water. Uh, there is, I, I'm thinking that it's ladyfish. See, like that right there that just happened. I think that's a ladyfish underneath them. I've already hooked into one. I was hoping that it would be some speckled trout because the size of these finger mullet, uh, a small dink trout would choke on it if you, if you tried to swallow one of them. There we go. Oh, we got one. I don't know what it is. That looks like a trout. That's exactly what I was hoping for. That's gotta be a trout. If it was a ladyfish, he would have already went airborne. Oh yes, this is exactly what I was hoping for. Huge gator trout, baby. Oh my gosh. This guy's got some bottom end to him. Oh, thank goodness for a treble hook. That is a big trout. The drag is set just perfect, too. Oh my gosh. Hopefully this is going to be my new PB. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Come on, baby, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes! 
Oh my God, look at this freaking monster. That's why I stuck with it because I knew one of these had to have been down there. Look at that. Choke the crap out of this thing. It's down in there, so let's try to get it out without incident. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Yes! All right, this guy's gonna be able to live. Let's see what he goes for. 23 inch trout. Holy cow! Huge trout destroying the uh, finger mullet right up against the rocks at Seawolf Park. All right, come on. We're gonna revive you, baby. Whoa, I guess he didn't need to be revived. That guy was ready to go. Oh my gosh, what a big old trout. Wow, talk about an awesome fight. There we go. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Check this out. Little smack. Straight on the tail. That's a double prize right there, baby. <laughs> Cannot make this stuff up. I don't even know how this guy even began to come and get the uh or maybe just chase after it and then next thing you know you got snagged there we go there we go it's another little smack tiny little vicious guy Gosh, boy, did he hit it hard, too. <laughs> this little fella. Dude, look at them vicious teeth. Whoa, 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 playa. I'm not the one who bit it. You did. Man, this is going to get messy. There we go. It's good to know that there's some smacks out here. However, they're just all way too small. Busting up on all these mullet i'm gonna fish it super slow it's 10 foot deep right up against these rocks and that's where they're hiding they're just i was uh fishing the spoon like really fast but now i'm just slowly gonna glide it through this area and that guy like tapped it twice before he actually got hooked on the third time you have any luck out there? i am just some some small stuff like some smacks and then uh, on the opposite side I was able to catch a 23 inch speckle trout and then yeah oh, no right on the other side against the rocks no I didn't keep anything it's just for fun right <laughs> the game warden out here and he got two camera guys right behind her I remember my young brother telling me something about a show that was on uh, I'm not even sure which channel it was but they follow the Texas game warden around that could possibly be it there we go oh yeah boy these guys are crushing it they are loving this silver spoon I am still out here at Seawolf Park this is like the little beach area um, for the most part is very shallow so you can wade fish over here and have a great time it's look at that it is 2.7 foot deep water is 88 degrees man it's like the bite just turned on all of a sudden this guy looks to be a, a keeper I don't know we're gonna measure him all right bro chill out let's get this out of you before you wreck that mouth that beautiful mouth that's gonna allow you to get big here we go a moment of truth oh no that's a 16 inch trout right there baby whoo man 
Look at that. That's the perfect eating size, too. Those are the ones you want to keep. You want to let those big 23 inches go so that they can continue to breed and make freaking dinosaurs. Um, those guys right there, well, the 23 inches won't have to compete with the food uh, if those guys are gone. So, brushed up against some mullet, probably made them poop their pants. Oh no, that's something swiping at it. <laughs> oh, oh, buddy. I caught you red handed, bro. You kept freaking swiping at it. Why did you come back and hit it? Seriously, man. Don't you know when to let good enough alone? Good night. Look at them chompers. Well, look at that. Hopefully you can see that. Man, oh man. All right, get out of here. Go put dent inside that bait. I mean, even though he's the same size as the mullet, them chompers will allow him to just freaking slice it in half. Up in the northeast, those guys were vicious, especially them 30 inchers. Holy cow. Oh, look at that. I saw him. Oh, yeah. That's not fighting like a trout, though. Did I snag him? What is it? Oh, yeah, it is a trout. Wow. Let's see if he's going to be another keeper. All right. Let's check our fish to see if he was a keeper size. I definitely don't think this one is. No. 13 and a half. All right, bud. Get out of here. Go make your mama proud and keep eating bait. All right, we've made it back to the launch. Well, I mean, it's not a launch. It's makeshift, I guess. But I uh, made it back to the truck. And it was another awesome day of fishing, to say the least. I had a great time, especially whenever you're able to catch a nice fatty. Oh, man, it makes it worthwhile. Uh, if you like this video, please give me that thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel and you like what you just saw, click that subscribe button. Also, click the bell notification icon. Okay, so it's the bell icon, which will notify you whenever I drop new videos. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, everyone, tight lines. Uh, you know what? Actually, I forgot. I'm going to throw a shout out to another two patrons that just hit me up yesterday. So, Bubba Torres, thank you so much, brother, and Felix Gonzalez. I really appreciate y'all's uh, support towards my channel and for believing in what I'm doing. I want to do bigger and better things but i can't do it without your support so for you two gentlemen thank you so much i really appreciate that support okay so now until next time tight lines everyone